okay good morning again so in this video I will demonstrate how to get the information from the database into our Java program so when we click on the view button what we're gonna be doing is just displaying the information here first we're gonna just display it in, in a text here all right so we're gonna look at that so let's look at how we got the text here on this um, J panel first of all all right so what we did here is that we created a class called my view and in this class we create an instance of a text ear called text ear all right once that is done also before that if you notice here my view extends j frame which means that the my view is a j frame all right and here we create created the instance of the text ear and call it text ear the next thing we do in, within the constructor we would have added text area to the j panel to the j frame rather so we say add text area here that means we are adding the text area to the j frame now the text area provides us with a wider space to display our text and we're just going to use it as our first form of presenting the information and then we set the default close operation the default close operation here is set to hide on close because Whenever we close this J frame, we do not want to close the program. We just want to hide. And we set the preferred size to 500 by 500 and we pack and we make that visible. So that by itself will give us the view that we have here. All right, so it's a blank space. So this is a text error. If we try to type, we can type. However, we can prevent the user from typing. All right, but before we do that, let's look now at as to how we may get the view, get information from the database. We're going to go to our DB Connect, and in there we are going to be creating a method. I have started it, and this method is get my view, and it's going to return a string. It's going to return the information as a string of um, characters, a string of information from, that we would have collected from the database now the query to get the information from the table in the database is select star from customer from a database class you'll realize that this query will return all the records that are found in a customer table all right so once that is done our next task is to have this query executed and we will execute this query um, using the the function provided by MySQL that is um, execute query update. All right, so let's look at how we would go about um, doing this. All right, so we're gonna execute the query. So we're gonna say RS is equal to SD that execute query. All right, remember SD was defined up here as a statement rs result set con connection all right so we're using these so the st is a statement uh executing the query so st is used to invoke the execute query method and in that method we're going to pass the query text that we'd have created early on so once this query is executed then it will send back the result it will send back some results the results will be stored in rs all right so within rs now once the query is executed successfully we will simply just ex ex extract the data from rs and and um print that on the screen all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just to just check to see if there's anything in rs so we're gonna say while rs that next all right so we're just checking to see if there are records in rs and all you're gonna do is we're gonna just collect the information that you'd have gotten from the rs 
All right, and next we are gonna create a string and send it across. All right, so, so RS that get ID number will give us the ID number. All right, so let me just, so for example, we have, um, let's just define these up here so we can let's define some strings. ID, I'm going to use one to store the ID. Or better yet, let me use an array. So I use an array of strings. String row. And I'm going to make that about. So we have two, we have five different pieces of data to collect. So I'm going to use the array to store that. All right. array here is going to be stored in five strings so all right so we're going to use that to store the information that we get and then i'm going to create another string call it display text and the display text i'm just going to keep it simple i'm going to make it equal to the headings that we want to be displayed like id number followed by a tab and christian name followed by a tab and then last name followed by a tab and then gender followed by a tab an email and since email is the last one, I'm gonna put a new line this is just a simple way of displaying the information all right so so I'm gonna do here now so within this loop so we're saying that while r is that next so all we're gonna say now is that row zero so in the first index of the array I'm going to be putting the information for the ID number. So I'm going to say RS that get string. I'm going to have to pass here the fields as they appear in the database. So it's going to be ID number. And I'll repeat this for each field. It's going to be row one. Equal to RS that gets string. And the field that we have in the database is Christian name. And then we have row 2. Equal to RS that gets string. And for Christian name, we have L name. So I'm just storing the information in the array. The L name we have um, gender. Now for gender we have email. And the email will be stored in index 4 of the array. Alright. So now this is the idea. So after getting this information. What I'm gonna do is just to add it to the um to the display text that we have created. I'm gonna create an, an additional line, additional um, new line. So we have two line spaces before the actual data. We can always modify it. All right. So here now we are gonna be adding the information.
So you add in the information to the display text. So all we're going to say is display text. is equal to display text All right. plus so all I'm gonna do is just to add these so I'm gonna say display text is equal to display text plus um, row zero Plus, I'm just putting the tab between them. Slash T. So remember, you have to put this in double quotes. Plus, row one. Plus, another tab. plus row 2 plus another tab plus row 3 plus another tab plus row Four plus since it's the last one, I'm gonna create a new line. All right. So that is what's gonna we're gonna do. So when the loop is finished, all the information will be added to the display text. At the end of this function, all we're gonna do is return the display text. All right, so how this method is going to work, so it's going to get the information from the database, put all of them into display text, and return the display text. So therefore, um, when we go to the My View, so all that I need to do here is um, just to set the text of the text area to the display text from the database from the db connect so i'll have to create an instance of db connect inside here and what i'm gonna say is um text area that set text to db that so in the db class the function is called get my view so i'm going to say db that get my view and that should take care of it for us so when we run this, we should be seeing the information. Alright, so if I click view. So here's the information coming up so that's the view that we just created as i said before this is not really the best way to view it you could always create a table and so forth and so on but just to you know give you an idea this is what it looks like all right